This is probably one of the most strict SMPs I've ever played. If you even break one simple rule, you could get banned. I just got banned for killing a Steve skin. And that's all due to this owner, who only uses this SMP as a cash cow. He wouldn't give me anything, he wouldn't do anything, he wouldn't even talk to us until I told him that one of us was making a video, and then he started talking to us. He only wants publicity for a server so he can make money. So to try to save the players of this SMP, I'm going to attempt to break 50 rules, with all of them getting harder and harder until we actually break the server. But if we want to get revenge on him, we're going to have to do this all without getting banned. So let's start with some easier ones. Rule number one, no crystal trapping. Got him, got him, got him with the crystal. Nice, that's one. That's one completed. Let's go. And rule number two, no end camping. Stop, stop, stop. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I killed someone in void. And now with two of those off the table, there is still one more we could complete in the end. Like rule number three, no killing people on end island. No way I'm going to get him in the void. No! Which is okay. He knocked he me in the void. He just knocked me in the void. I'm dead. I just died oh, in the void. you're kidding me. Yeah. This was a huge problem. We had just lost all our gear in the end to a group of players that were also breaking rules. People. Now I just Dude. have iron gear, bro. <laughs> and since we were YouTubers, these players just kept targeting us. <gasps> Mimic, run! I killed him. I'm dead. No, I didn't. No, oh, didn't. my God. Don't run, 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 run. So if we wanted to make any further progress, we were going to need to do something about it. And that's when I met Void Quacks. Yeah, TP to me, TP to me. Right. Void Quacks YT. This what is my base. The? Villagers. Um, there's okay. a creeper spawner down here, which makes a lot of money. This kid was probably one of the coolest kids on this SMP. He taught me a ton of stuff, like how to get easy money. Take all the gunpowder roll out of it and then do slash hands sell while the gunpowder is in your hand. And he even introduced me to all his allies. Okay, but can I trust everyone okay. in here? Yes, Every you can. Everyone come to this main room with the villagers. Okay, I, I okay. can tell you all right. something. And he even was about to... I'm about to pee myself. <gasps> all right, bro, you're weak. All right, enough with the funny business. It's time to get down to the plan. See this rank trainee? This means this guy is training to become a mod. And using this guy to help me out on my journey would either be super helpful or he could snitch on me. So to see if he's worth it, I decided to do a little trust exercise. Hi, I, I am your out. waitress. So what, what would you oh. guys like to eat? Um, oh. I would have a dinner with both of them to see if I could gain their trust from it. And in doing this, I would secretly be breaking rule number three, no e-dating. The number, whoa, whoa, this is too early. This is too, that's too early. I'm sorry. Uh, we're yeah, we're moving too okay. fast. I, I like to get to know you. So what's your Rainbow! favorite color? Uh, I like light blue. And now that I asked them a few questions and trusted them, it was now time to tell them the big plan. I'm, <laughs> are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be trying to break. 50 rules without getting banned. I can only do this with your help. Because there might be some rules that you need to convince the owner that I didn't do. And right away, they both decided they would help me along my journey. So we got started on rule number four. Don't spam. All right, this should be an easy one. Okay, I'm going to try to do two. No promotion and no... Oh, God. Okay, this is a risky one. This is risky. This is all that's going to work. Scribe now. Okay, that's two rules right there. Two down. And things were going great. We were going through the rules like absolutely nothing. That was until we got to rule number six. No TP killing. This was a simple one. All we needed was to TP to someone and kill them right as we do it. But if I just try to TP to someone, it would be too obvious. So I came up with a genius idea to bait them out. Does anyone have a base? I My friend wants to do a screening. To. In doing this, I was hoping to get some quick responses, but there was absolutely nothing. Try again. I can't. Once. And again, absolutely no responses. And the only reason this was a problem was because the admins review the server at night to see if anyone had broken any rules. So if I didn't break all the rules in the next five hours, I would get banned and the owner would continue to scam people. Okay. Someone is doing it. Right. I accept it. You good? But in a stroke of luck, someone sent us a request. Ready? TP killing on three. Three, two, two one, one. Go. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Let me kill them though. I gotta kill. Oh, okay. Oh, another, one, another one. Another one. Go get the other one. Go get the other one. See, this was a problem. If we didn't hit the enemy in the next couple seconds, he could just TP away. Do you have a bow? Do you have a bow you can shoot him with? No, I don't have a bow. I don't have a bow. Do you have pearls? No. No. Hit him once. Hit him once. Hit him once. He's right here. He's in the trees. Uh -oh. Uh, 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 uh. We gotta get up there before. Hold on. I think he ran. He's still running. I'm on him though. Nice. 
he's climbing, climbing, he's climbing. climbing. But this guy just kept wasting our time. And if we didn't kill him soon and he got away, we would have wasted 30 minutes of our time. Hit him, hit him, hit him. He's nice. off. He's already he's dead. He's dead. He's off? Nice. Yeah, he's dropping down. He's here. Yep, I oh, see him. He's off. Go, Jimmy. He's at nine. He's at nine. He's not nine. Go, go, go. Yes! Nice. Let's go! Nice! Let's go. Here. With moving on to rule number seven, we had just wasted 30 minutes. And if we wanted to make breaking all these rules possible, we were going to need a faster way of breaking them. I got to do it, though. There we go. Nice! Go. Nice, 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 nice. That's yeah, awesome. Awesome. We were just one. Uh, more. No, 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 no. Let's, we could do more, then. Even though we had just completed the rule, we decided to stay in the end to see if we could gather more loot from people. Don't even. Oh. Oh, shifties. Got one. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. How is he not dying? He's not dying. How is he not dead? What? He's not taking any damage. They're all running through. They oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. He killed me too. No. And with that, I just lost everything. Did you get any of my yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they're picking it all up. Grinding for the gear we just had would take even more of our time. And with only seven rules done, I was starting to think this challenge might be impossible. That's going to set us You're back a little bit armor-wise and killing people. But, but nothing. No matter how much hope I tried to give, in my heart, I knew there was actually no way we could do it in time. Confidence. I have three totems for you. Yeah, you hear that little breath of joy? That was me remembering why I was doing this. No matter how much I tried to give up, Voidcracks wouldn't let me. He knew how much this meant to me, and he wasn't gonna let me throw it all in the trash like that. So I prepped myself back up and started doing more rules. Because I'm media rank give loot at spawn. You should also give me some loot. Okay. Yeah, if I get I, loot, I... This, is, this is how we're gonna get loot. Okay, we have some people coming. Okay, we have a lot of people coming. Oh my god, where are you at? Okay, I gotta trade them. Okay, slash trade. Oh my god, they're actually- They just gave me enchanted golden apple. And a trident. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Trident? The trident? That's $250,000. You hear that? With all these people giving me loot, that means we were back in the game. We broke the rule and got some armor out of it. That's a big step up. And with three hours left on the clock, we had to get the rest of these rules done fast. Save your key. Let's go key off. All right, I'm, I'm breaking another rule, asking for keys. Rule number 12, no scamming. I didn't, how did right, I get no, a hold on, hold on. He just dropped pearls. Okay, and I'll drop that. I guess this works. Go. Get the heart, get the heart. Oh. Rule number 13, no exploiting or abusing bugs. And this exploit literally allows you to get out of PvP anytime. Right. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Nice. Nice. Okay, exploit right. completed. Rule number 15, no heart farming. And all we needed to do for this one was kill someone's all until we had max hearts. Yeah, but the eyes are gonna yank it down a lot. Oh, it's rule number 17, no bullying. You're just a noob. Look at you. You don't have any, only 50 health. You're just a Steve skin. You can't afford a skin and they're free. You can't even <laughs> afford a free skin. You don't even know how to put it on. There's a guy with one HP I'm trying to kill right now. Oh, I'm dead. Got I'm him. dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. For these next few ones, we needed a group of people, so we asked Quacks for his teammates to help us. Another rule: no creating an army to kill people. Oh my God! Yo, hey, the Calvary, bro. Let him out. Let him out. Let's go. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. And to be honest, this one guy was actually giving us a little bit of a struggle. Where would he go? Where would he go? Nah, no, he's hiding in the tree somewhere. Go. Kill him. him. Yeah. Yeah. Got him, got him. Easy, nice. Easy, easy. Until we finally killed him. But doing all that took us down to two hours left. And the next rule was get me to 500k off of this video. So if you want to come along this journey with me, consider subscribing. But even with that one done, we still have a lot of rules left. But it was alright, because we were about to roll over these rules like nothing. That was No, that was wasn't fun. fun. No, that wasn't fun. No, that wasn't fun. fun. Uh, there we oh, go. Oh, 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 oh.
and we were gonna take this even further. We got everybody just walk so, towards spawn, run towards spawn. Everybody, right, run okay, towards run, spawn. run, 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 everyone, run, everyone, run, go, 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 go. Yes, dude, does it actually go in spawn? Yo, yo. But this time we might have took it too far. Oh, he instant killed it. This was horrible. The owner was literally watching our every moves now, but all he knew was just one small thing we did, so we could continue but very carefully. Rule number 28, no ruining spawn. Oh wait, we can lava cast into spawn. Like, can uh, we actually? That's already. This was easily the hardest one yet. We had the admin right on our back watching our every move, so if we got caught, this would all be over. But no matter the risk, we still attempted it. Trial video, don't mess up, okay? Okay. The higher we go, the more like- it Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna get us banned, dude. You know, the thing is, just don't get caught, okay? Okay. Water on okay, top. Okay, so place yeah, lava on the bottom, this one right here. Yeah, this one. And then you have to wait until it's fully done, so it's gonna take a little bit. We had successfully done it, but that was just the easy part. Now we had to wait for a giant lava cast to flow down without getting caught. Look at this. Oh my god, dude. I oh, it's flowing. No, see, like, this is the thing that we're talking about. It's flowing into spawn. Our plan was working perfectly. The lava was flowing into spawn and eventually would take it over. Verky's removing the lava, by the way. <gasps> no. no! No! I'm running so he doesn't know it's me. Nah, everybody dip. Scatter! Scatter! <laughs> I'm going. Scatter! I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, he, I'm he spawned. He wouldn't, I'm done. Dang, uh, bro. Let no me on RQ. Let me on RQ. The owner went past me multiple times, but had no clue it was me. And we decided to count this one because it did go two blocks in spawn. And because the owner was still being very cautious, we decided to finish up the small ones. Can I please say ratio? <laughs> no, no. Oh yeah, disrespect. Disrespecting an admin. Ratio. <laughs> so earlier when that happened, like, I couldn't just, I don't know, like, I just want to do, you know, maybe, you know what I mean? And now that we were done with all the small ones and the owner was offline, we started with the big ones. Rule 38, no portal trapping. This one took some planning because if they got away and told others, it would ruin our chances of doing it again. Like, I feel like in Gatex said, like, we're all going in the nether for like a screening and we all just like place like 20 bets. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, Does anyone have bets? Oh wait, I have, a, I have a string farm, I have a string So we headed over to his base to get the string we needed. And after getting the materials I needed out of the chest, I decided to take a picture of the cords just in case I needed to come back. <laughs> yeah, no, do not TP anyone here. For us, like, if he, cause like the second would lease that and if you don't blur it out, it's gonna instantly get raided. Because he was so secretive about his base, I would have to be careful not to show these to anyone. But for now, we headed to the nether to finish up the trap. You can all just stand right here and spam beds. Like, yeah. I can place the beds. Yeah. The beds. This one shouldn't be too hard. All we have to do is get some players to go in the trapped portal and then bed them. This plan was perfect. There was no way anything could go wrong. They're going, they're going in. Wait, are they in? Are you, are you through? I'm through, I'm through. Yeah. Accept. Oh. Are you? Accept. Go. Go. No, it's broken. We had just built this trap wrong. This one simple mistake could get us banned if we don't kill them now. Right through the exit. Go, 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 go. Kill him, kill him. Just break it, just break it. Yeah. I got him, I got him, nice, I got him. Nice, nice, nice. Luckily, we ended up killing them in time, but this next rule wouldn't be so forgiving. There was only one more hour and 11 challenges left to do. There was no doubt in my mind that this was possible. That was until I looked at rule number 40. All right, one I have is no leaking base cords. Le wait, wait, does anybody still have um, uh, void quacks base cords? <laughs> No, 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 that's not a base anymore, it's nothing. We couldn't do Void Crack Space since that was the base we destroyed while doing the griefing rule. So we tried looking at some other options. I want to TP to a random person and then just shout out their base cords. Or shout out, you could just shout out their cords. Yeah. So I tried to ask if anyone had a base I could TP to, but no one was that stupid. I guess that was it. There was 11 more rules and there was no way I could complete them. The timer would just tick out and we would lose this challenge, meaning that Verky would get away with even more money. Making this whole saving the server thing would be a waste of my time and I would have been a complete failure. So I logged off the server, not thinking I would ever log back on again. 
And after getting the materials I needed out of the chest, I decided to take a picture of the cords just in case I needed to come back. Just in case I needed to come back. There is still another option to finish this rule. But in order to do it, I would have to betray one of the closest friends I've made since the beginning of this challenge. I had two choices. Either shout out the cords of Raikou's base in the chat, having it get raided by every single person, or save a friendship that I could potentially have forever. And I think the choice for this answer is not even in question. And the answer is... I don't think it's too bad being the villain sometimes. Alright, uh, see you next. Yeah. See ya. Okay. Oh, oh, everybody's gonna I'll go there. Oh my god, Let's I did it. it. I did it. Like Someone said easy, thank you, JPEX. Dude, I feel bad. Oh my god. I had done it. Nothing could be changed and there was no going back. Tell me, when you, tell me when you guys get there and TP me there. But when we got to the base, it was completely destroyed. It had already been raided a hundred times over. No, wow. it needs to be like someone's active base. That's why, dude, after all that, that didn't work, bro. So my attempt of also trying to complete the rule of raiding someone's base wouldn't work. But out of a stroke of luck, at a random, someone asked me if they wanted to team. All right, there's a guy that's saying he wants to team with me. I could go there and still use I some stuff. I could practically break all the rules while at this person's base. And with 30 minutes left i decided to go there okay this guy's either gonna kill me or he actually tv <gasps> oh my god he actually has a base okay okay i'm gonna try to steal some stuff for you he has villagers too he has villagers too. oh my god I but if i wanted to complete any of the rules here i was going to have to distract them i gotta kill his villagers steal some stuff and grief his base when he's not here the plan was simple i would tp all my allies in a secret spot where the base owners couldn't see oh my god look at us then when i distract them and they leave the base my allies will attack Oh, no. Okay, I'm distracting them. I'm distracting them. You guys can get a little closer. I'm distracting them. Um, one just left. One just left. I'm gonna tell him. Let's go spawn. I'm telling him. Let's go spawn. He left. He left. He left. He left. He left. Go 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 go. JPEX accept. JPEX accept. Okay, I'm killing one of his. I gotta kill one of his villagers. That's the thing. Kill them. Kill them. Come on. Come on. Everyone. Go 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 go. accepts. Start blowing stuff up. You hit. Oh, thank you. We had almost completed all the rules, and the ones next would prove even more difficult. Six more rules left, and these ones will be the hardest ones to do without getting caught. I have to get on with a hat client without getting banned. Oh, no. oh. But with all we've been through so far, I know we could do this. So I'll just do it really quickly now. Okay, no yeah, just do it really quickly. Yeah, yeah, all right. And... And just like that, I was on. Now I would just have to do this as fast as possible before they could detect it. Start with, off with little stuff. Oh, do, uh, like, wait, like, do name like, tags, do name tags. What, does that work? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a hacker, he's a hacker. And being confident that I wouldn't be banned, I decided to try something. Oh my. Uh, so I just saw <gasps> No! <laughs> no! No! Did you get no. banned? No, no, I don't think I no. got banned. I don't think I got banned. Wait, put stuff in the chest. Put stuff in the oh, chest. Shoot. And luckily, I was right. It was just my Wi-Fi, but that was a close call. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna make this NFT. JPEX NFT. See, the funny thing about this is the only reason it's breaking the rules is because it's a super easy way to get money. So let's see how much we can scam out of this guy. Like that. There we go. Yeah. Let's see it. See it and, and oh wait, and it would somebody actually buy that? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. <laughs> wait, someone TP to me? Because there's one I need to do. Oh, I'm worried. So look at me in the eyes. I I need to say a slur. Saying this one word could ruin my entire career, and I would most definitely get banned and canceled if I said it, but anything for the challenge. Buzzkill. You're a buzzkill. You're a buzzkill. You didn't actually think I was gonna say anything bad, right? I kinda just decided to make up my own word off of his name, and all it means is, buzzkill sucks. I'm gonna God, cry. You're such a buzzkill, bro. The next rule I had to do was no using alts, but to do that, I had to buy an alt, and this was terrifying because of last time. You need an authenticator, so click on the authenticator. What just happened? Uh, uh, yeah, I used to think it was a virus, but I have no time to fear now because we literally only have 10 minutes left. Okay, I got my alt. Go, 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 go. Please, Minecraft, don't take forever. Low, dude. Okay, where is it? Mine hut. Here. Please. How much? Okay, I have nine minutes left. Go, flicked, flicked. There. Let me join. There we go. This next one I had to do was a lag machine. But if I got caught doing this, I would easily get banned. Oh, 
We need more people here. We first tried using ender pearls, but with the countdown, it was way too slow. So we tried using multiple people. No! 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 With nothing working and only five minutes left on the clock, we decided to give snowballs a try. Wait, wait, can someone wait, else give me snowballs? Like, I, I don't, I don't yeah, want to eat them. Let me go some. Oh my god, bro. Oh, oh my right? god! Oh my. This was a huge win. The snowballs were working, but we still needed a faster method. You just pick up whatever you can. Yeah, we used snowman. And let me tell you, this was about to be good. Hey, fine. I want to spin one. I want to spin quickly, quickly, quickly. What? Okay, I think this is considered a lag machine. There was only one roll left, and with three minutes left on the clock, I said goodbye to all my friends. Let's go! Really got that. Yeah, let's good go. Job, guys. Let's go. Good job, guys. That was good, guys. bro. <laughs> There's something about oh. you getting banned for hacking. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care if I'm running out the timer. I had a great time with these guys, and I respect all of them for helping me. So, to all of you, thank you so much. But now on to the final rule, don't give your heart away for free. I decided to give all my hearts to this one guy as a peaceful ending. And with one heart left, I was about to beat the challenge. And that money thirsty owner was about to lose to me breaking 50 rules without him even knowing. Come on, kill me! Yeah! What? Did I just get banned? Wait, this counts! This counts, guys, please, please, this counts. I killed him! This counts!